Last spring, one of my paintings sold at auction. I didn't own it. It was part of the estate of Roger LaPel, who had been my dealer back when I was still painting. Tough Guys was from my crime painting series from the 1990s and early 2000s. I painted them in response to an armed robbery that Nancy and I were victims of. Though I call them crime paintings, they are about a variety of human failings and foibles, not always illegal. My tone is generally comical and ironic, as in, Yikes, people! What self-destructive nutcases can we sometimes be? The estate sale was handled by Kyle Hoke, a wonderful guy. Kyle asked me if I'd be interested in trying to auction some other works, which are still in my own collection. It's an excellent idea, I thought. Since I stopped painting and turned to filmmaking in 2007, I no longer have a gallery to try to sell work. Plus, there's a sad reality facing Nancy and me. We live in coastal New Jersey. We did not get a grant to lift our house. This is our backyard on a nice day. Superstorm Sandy just barely spared us, and it's only a matter of time before our house is flooded and my paintings stacked in the studio are ruined. I would dearly love to get them into a safer home. Anyway, here are the stories behind the two paintings that Kyle is trying to auction for me. The Old Sin is about a very old story indeed, the propensity of human beings to sort themselves into tribes. A young interracial pair embraces, and an older couple, perhaps the girl's parents, look on with exaggerated horror. I play the part of the older man, but for the life of me, I can't remember where I got the monkey suit that I'm wearing. The young couple were students at the art school where I taught. If you were older, you might remember the film Guess Who's Coming to Dinner from 1967. Unlike Stanley Kramer, I did not put the boyfriend into a suit that adults would find respectable. Rather, he is wearing the kind of things students wore in those days, right before the turn of the millennium. The other painting, Idolatry's Lore, shows a group of adults staring in wonder at a young boy sporting a halo and posing like Jesus. It was based on a news story of the day. A Cuban kid named Elion Gonzalez washed up alone on the Florida shore. The five-year-old's claim that dolphins saved him from drowning made credulous Cuban-Americans call him Nino Milagro, or Miracle Child. Elion's story became international news when his father demanded that he be returned to Cuba, but America's Christian right demanded that the miracle child stay in the land of the free. This painting is about how people can be persuaded to believe almost anything. And since I created it, human irrationality, goaded on by the internet, has only gotten worse. If I were still painting these today, I fear my tone would be much more bitter. To end on a happier note, the model for Elian Gonzalez is my beloved nephew, Ben, who just turned 35. Talk about yikes! And the model for the man publicly drinking a beer just turned 71. And he hasn't had a drink since January 1st. Finally, I am incredibly grateful that my paintings are being newly appreciated, and possibly, with Kyle's help, they might just find a new and safer home. <laughs>